Hi there, my name is Megan and over the past year or so you may have seen a kind of trend on YouTube where people who struggle with depression, anxiety, ADHD and other mental health disorders clean their depressed bedrooms. I find myself far too often going weeks, months without not cleaning my room and everything around me just going into an absolute mess no matter what I do, and it's a continuous cycle of everything gets dirty, everything gets awful and mucky, and I go into a depressive state, clean it, things are okay, but then it just goes back down, and it's a continuous cycle that happens over and over again, and I'm in the middle of that cycle right now. Thankfully, a lot of us are aware of this continuous cycle that we have and that we're stuck in and how depression makes it difficult for us to perform mundane, normal tasks like taking care of your hygiene and cleaning your room, eating three meals a day, drinking water, you know, just things. So today I'm going to be cleaning my room with you because I don't want to do it alone, because I don't like being alone, I don't like my own company. By no means is my room a depression room because I've caught myself halfway through one and I'm aware of that and I'm going to nip it in the bud right now rather than letting it get worse. It's Monday, we, got, we gotta try, okay? We've gotta try. We're not alone in this. We've got each other. We're okay, okay? Nice. So if you're wanting to join me and clean your room along with me, then feel free to or if you're just wanting to have this on in the background as you're studying or cooking dinner or something and you just want to be in a company 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 i'm here for you so what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to take my plates glasses bottles and all that kind of stuff and i'm going to put it outside of my room i'm not going to focus on doing any of my dishes right now because it's so easy when you're doing something like this to get tunnel vision on every single small little task and then you get very easily overwhelmed i'm not going to do that we're just gonna do what we need to do one step at a time. So we're gonna take the plates, glasses, Tupperware containers, anything like that out of our room. Okay? Let's get that done. Um, I don't have that many plates, considering I've only got three bowls and a glass and a water bottle here, which is pretty decent. And then I've also got a Tupperware container full of salmon and pasta that's been here for three or four days which is in all aspects not the worst it could be better I could have taken it down straight away but and just like that that literally took like what 20 30 seconds we've gotten all of our nasty dirty plates out I could do my trash first or my garbage or any of the waste and recycling I need to do but I kind of want to fold my laundry and put it in the laundry basket because I don't have much of it so I'm going to do that first okay you can do that first if you want or you can do your garbage but let's do that
So I'm gonna pop this stuff there. We can fold this bag up and put that away with all of our other reusable bags. I also have a fox blanket that I had at the apartment that I'm gonna wash as well just because it smells like it and I don't want it to smell like that as well because you don't want to cuddle up and have something smell like your access to you. Nah, not nice. So I'm gonna put this all in the washing pile. Do you ever get to a point where you're doing something and you just get a headache? And you're not sure if it's because you're coming down with something or because you're just tired and stressed and you need to give yourself a break but you feel like you don't deserve a break because you've been so lazy but you've been so lazy because you're depressed and anxious and so you try and get out of that repetitive cycle but then you get anxious and depressed even more i haven't drunk enough water today on my bedside table, I had two things of nail polish. I'm going to take that as well as the toiletries and I'm going to put that in my bathroom. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up my reusable bags and then put all of my trash away. Whilst I was in the bathroom, I was going to decide to freshen up my towels and stuff, so that's good. When doing stuff like this, I think it's really important to remember that you can take breaks and it's okay for you to take breaks whilst you're doing it as well. And um, so what I'm going to do, helicopter food, is I'm going to fold up my reusable bags, hang up any empty handbags that I have and put that away. And then I'm going to go get some dinner, take my medication because that's something I need to do. I think far too often when we get into a state of I need to clean my room, I need to do it now, I can't have any breaks until it is done. It can be quite self-deprivating, self-deprivating, self-deprivating. It can be quite draining. What happens so much is that when we get into a state of our room being such a mess and we think, oh God, I've got to clean it, I've got to clean it all, I have to do it now and there's just so much, I'm never gonna get it done. We forget that it's okay to take our time, to take it slow and to relax, to take breaks if we need it. So I'm getting a little overwhelmed, even though it's not all that messy, I'm still getting a little overwhelmed. That's completely fine, that's completely normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold up my reusable bags, put them away with the other ones, hang up any bags that are empty and not needing used, put them in my closet, just simple little tactile things that can help you to calm down whilst also doing the job so you feel like you're still doing something. And then I'm going to go eat, drink some water, take my medication because meds, you need to take them if you need to take them, and then I'm going to come back and it's all going to be good. So let's do it. And it's good because you can also check and see, oh, I have stuff in this bag that I did not have. I had a shirt. That will need to be in the wash because I don't know how long it's been there. So we're just going to just on that. fold our bags up. So that's one. Here's the second one. Have a quick check. So we've got some new seats. So we need to go through those, and then we've got some sock feet try on things which i'm going to keep because they're handy so let's fold up this bag shall we so i need to keep this one hair tie this is actually I'm really happy I found this this is my mum's hair tie and I've had it for a few years now and I never really use it because when I tie my hair up I think I look a bit stupid I'll show you I just think I look a little stupid with this little tufty bit because I cut a fringe and I never let it grow out <laughs> 
but it's my mom's and I borrowed it from her once and I never gave it back because it comforts me. Reusable straws. A bit of grass. Put that down there because I'm going to have a vacuum. There we go. And it, I had a banana in there that split and it's rotten, but it doesn't smell, so it's fine. to do is some heckin trash cleaning because that's the main issue this time that's the main issue right now it's not so much piles of clothes like it usually is it's the trash for me right now and i've managed to hide it behind my desk but it's just annoying me because it's there and i've just not done anything about it so that's what we're going to do right so all of my trash is behind my desk. I'm gonna close my door. So, I'll get her done. So, there we go. I've got a bunch of shit in front of me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check that like the stuff that can be recycled is in a paper bag. And go with that okay a bit nasty but it needs to get done because you think oh i'll just bother recycling in a paper bag but then when you're lazy you just don't do it so that's not supposed to go in the bin that was my lipstick All the stuff that can't be recycled in here, all the stuff that cannot be recycled in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my bedside table and the top drawer. I've already done the bottom drawer because, you know, it's the bottom drawer. Um, so I'm going to clean the top drawer, get rid of this dirt because I did have a plant here. So, mid cleaning, my camera battery did cut out, but rather than just stopping and waiting, I continued. So, what I did is I just put everything in and reorganized it so it stands nice and easy. The only issue is that, like, this is something that gets used every single day, and so it will get messy and mucky very quickly and very easily. But that's just something to stay on top of, isn't it? And for the surface of my bedside table, I just took everything off, sprayed it down, gave a quick dust, dusted all of the items that are on top of it, and placed it back. So, what we're not going to do is focus on the fact that it's the next day. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be changing my bedding, because I've been needing to change my bedding for a few months. 
it is what it is, you know? I'm in such a slump right now. It's okay for days to go up and down, and it's okay to feel like this. You're not always gonna have the same energy all the time, and that's completely and utterly okay. You just feel like you should. It feels bad. No shit. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna make my bed. You always struggle to figure this out, don't you? So you don't think it really matters. Never mind, it does matter. thing I'm wanting to do to tidy up my room because everything else I'm pretty happy with is my desk. It's just a very easy place for it to get cluttered where you just chuck something down very quickly as you're coming in and leaving your room. This is the final place. I'm very pleased to say that I am almost done. We are almost done. All I'm going to do now is vacuum my floor and then that's me cleaned my room. The way I should have ages ago. Let's do it. We've done it. We've tidied up our room. We've cleaned it up a bit. We've gotten rid of our dishes. We've gotten rid of our trash. We've hoovered. We've remade our bed. We've cleaned out our bags or our desk. We've just given a good general clean to our room and that is exactly what we need to restart, to repack, to get through Mercury being in retrograde. I'm shattered, but thank you very much for joining me. I hope this video helped you keep you company or was just useful in like the background and that kind of stuff. I really enjoyed having the company doing this. It made me feel less alone, which was really nice. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Take care.